Ragnavald, tell us the why behind Storm Geo Studio. Uh, the main idea behind Storm Geo Studio was to ease the access to uh, graphics supporting the weather story. So if you look at today's solutions, they are quite complex, they are very expensive, and lots of people are involved in the day-to-day -day operations. And we wanted to remove these obstacles, and we propose this one-stop shop where you get the data, you get the templates, and you get the layout in one solution. And this, of course, is to ease the operations, to ease the talent's presentation of uh, the weather show, but also in the day-to-day -day operations when they were going to make changes. You know, they want to change to another city, they want to change to another area of interest on their maps. And all this has been very, very complex. Today, now with Storm Geo Studio, you will be able to do this through the browser. You just fire up the browser, you download the assets, and you're ready to go. So I think that's the main ID behind Storm Geo Studio. And that's really amazing, Ragnavald. Take it from someone who's worked years in the trenches putting these types of systems together. When end clients or end users have to take the individual data feeds and the hardware and the graphics and the live production workflow, and it's up to them to integrate it, every integration is a custom bespoke solution for that network. In this case, we've solved a lot of those problems and let the clients focus on what they do best. And that's creating good content. They don't have to worry about the format of the data feeds, the overlay, the graphics. They don't have to open ports on their routers to make sure they're connected or they have enough machine. It all happens in the cloud. And this content can be delivered in so many different ways. It facilitates almost any workflow uh, system out there. So it, it's pretty amazing to see. It's, I'll be very excited to see how this uh, affects a lot of our existing clients that are looking at it. Yeah, because this was a part of the ID with Singular, wasn't it? Remove all these obstacles, remove these high, high requirements for hardware. That's a typical obstacle, isn't it, for quite a lot of the OTTs. If they're gonna go on air and invest in all that infrastructure, that will be yeah, most likely a killer, wouldn't it? You're right, that, and that is exactly why we created Singular, because those high-end, production facilities don't aren't don't work in modern streaming when you have to be quick and you have to create additional content in a very flexible manner and it doesn't scale at all with uh, storm geo studio being in the cloud with singular's mechanism for delivery you can be anywhere in the world and deliver content to anyone in the world very easily so it's it's really a game changer for this type of uh, workflow